I'm sorry, my black queen. I'm sorry the world convinced me that black wasn't beautiful. I'm sorry that they convinced me that long, straight blonde hair was the way to go. I'm sorry they convinced me that you being loud was aggression, when truly, it was you just being passionate. I'm sorry that while my mother was too busy taking care of 10 kids, she didn't help me understand the importance of my blackness. I'm sorry that while I was trying to learn how to be a man on my own, my true identity got lost. I'm sorry. I know not having a father figure isn't an excuse to say things such as, you're beautiful, for a black girl. I'm sorry that while I was learning to have my hands on the dashboard, I was also making fun of your weave. I understand now that your weave is a way to express your beauty, not hide your flaws. I'm sorry that when you twerk, it's viewed as ratchet, but when a white woman does it, it's viewed as sexy. I'm sorry that I was convinced your curves made you more of a sex object than the beautiful queen you truly are. I'm sorry they convinced me that I needed someone with long, straight hair that I can run my fingers through. But my black queen, your curly hair makes you unique. Your braids give you a sense of culture and style. My black queen, you're the strongest, most powerful human being there is. And that's why they had to convince me that your strength was a threat. They made me feel like I needed someone that would listen to everything I would say and submit to all of my commands. They convinced me that when you spoke your mind, it was you trying to take all the power. And again, they convinced me as a man that was unacceptable. I know a lot of men won't admit this, but my black queen, I need you to understand. It wasn't your blackness that I disliked. The person I truly disliked was me. It wasn't your skin color that I didn't like, but instead, it was mine. It wasn't your intelligence that intimidated me. It was my lack of knowledge. It wasn't your curly hair that I didn't want. It was my naps that made me feel ashamed of who I was. See, the truth is, I was projecting all my insecurities and lack of confidence towards you. I pray that one day God gets rid of all the shackles this world has kept you changed to, because I truly believe you guys are the key to making this world a better place. I love you, my black queen.